Hello, welcome to my little room where I keep all my artwork. Um, come in, Neil, come in. Um, so on the wall here we have um, a lot of what I've been doing over the, the lockdown period. Um, these mono prints here, um, which are produced from life, uh, obviously. Um, and some cats over here. So I paint straight onto glass. Uh, and then press paper straight onto the paint, onto the glass and wipe away what I don't need before I do that, obviously. Um, this was based, uh, these cats were based on a commission from aforementioned Mr Vaughan, Neil Vaughan. Um, and these are the result of the ones, some of the other ones, they fixed the other one that they wanted. These are the offcasts. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it's a mono printing. Um, I've worked a lot with flowers and vases, um, like a lot of artists in lockdown. You just kind of do what you can with what you what you have. Uh, and as I like working from observation, it had to be something like flowers, or I'll go on to self portraits in a minute. So a lot of flowers, uh, mono print flowers, um, some other mono prints, uh, painting straight onto glass, wiping away what what you don't need and pressing down. Um, and some drawings as well, simple pastel drawings. So I've, obviously that's my kind of, one of my main sort of ways of working is from past, with pastel from life. Um, and then what I've been doing recently is kind of mixing painting with, uh, with pastel. So you can see some of these, there's three here. That's one of you, Neil, actually. Um, life drawing of you when there was no model and Neil you stepped forward and oh yeah you remember oh yeah so you were there as opposed there's a couple of musicians in a sitting in a bar I'm not going to forget that for a while no a guy at a bar and this there's these two up here which are this is again this is the mixture of the painting and the pastel work this is two chaps playing one guy playing guitar one guy playing a violin I think or a cello um and where was that that was at the um, oh, Dulwich, Dulwich Folk Festival, part of Dulwich Folk Festival. Uh, Jackie Smith is part of that, and her partner Peter organises it. Um, and the other work that I've been doing is um, working, of painting my students. So this is again in, in going back to the in terms of technique, it's mixing line with paint. Uh, working from life. So these are my student, 46 students that I work with. Um, and the other, this is from last year, so that's, this is some of the students that I, with the carers, so that's a sort of theme that I'm doing with uh, carer and service user. Um, there's another one being fed down there. Obviously you can't do that at the moment because I can't go in the care homes because it's all closed because of Covid. Uh, lovely Covid. Um, and then moving on to the, the uh, sculpture work that I've been doing is I've never actually done, well I had did a self-portrait about 30 years ago, maybe when I was at school, uh, and this this lockdown period has, has brought out this reflective kind of work and looking at the face. Um, I started with drawings on Neil's art group, uh, um, art club, which was, was, was great fun and a good, really good distraction. And we were doing portraits, I think it was the first, may have been about one of the earliest uh, things that we were doing. And then from the drawings, I decided I wanted to make some self sculptures uh, in lockdown. So these three here, this, this one and this one, are the results of that. Uh, this is the overthinker, <laughs> <laughs> me with my hand at my face. This is just me uh, thinking, that's overthinking and that's thinking. And this is sort of a happier, whistling, whistling sort of uh, face. Uh, I guess that's a happier reflection of myself. Uh, but they need to be fired. And if you come round to here, these are this is what the, some sculptures that are fired and glazed. This is where they end up. So, what glaze are you using? I usually just sort of like a stoneware glaze and an oxide. Um, mixed together, sort of spraying it on with a toothbrush, usually, uh, splattering it on. Um, yeah, so seals, that was last year more. Fighting animals is another theme that I quite like. 
So you've got cats fighting, uh, crows fighting, it's an older, an older piece. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been, that's what I've been doing. Um, so I've produced quite a lot of work in lockdown, I think. Probably more than I would normally do over six months, probably. Uh, obviously not been working as much, so I've had more time to do more work and probably better work, I think. Have you found more inspiration in lockdown then? I think so. Yeah, I think I've become more, well, I've started looking at, looking at myself, you know, more reflective. Is that, um, is that dangerous? Is that worrying? It's worrying. But actually, when I'm, it's quite therapeutic making your own face, drawing your own face, because you you have to concentrate. And that's why they always look so serious, these and, and miserable, these sort of portraits, because you have to be concentrated. You can't really be smiling. Well, you can smile, but it doesn't really... Concentration doesn't normally come in smiles, really, if you know what I mean. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally, yeah. Yeah, so, um, <clears throat> yeah, I think, I think the lockdown period has done me good work-wise, art-wise. Art -wise. And where um, are you going to be showing a lot of this stuff? Well, these will all be on the website. <clears throat> most, of, most of this stuff will be on the Chaos website. Um, there's also going to be a lockdown um, exhibition um, with Jane Howard. I don't know what, what month that will be, and I'm hoping to submit some stuff into that, which is, uh, yeah, the theme of the, of the show is lockdown. And um, these art. are going to be... Yes, the sculptures I'm hoping to put in, maybe the drawings, but the sculptures I think will, will be in there, hopefully, if they're wanted. Um, so, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's, just, it's just a bit odd having an online show rather than a physical exhibition. But I don't think it's a bad thing, necessarily. And uh, next year there'll be even more um, of an appetite for people to come round, I reckon. Uh, but so yeah, that's it. Thank you very yeah, much. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. That's all right. And I'm and when you can be doing really workshops in the future. In the future, I think so. Yeah, I've got to sort of work out how to operate Zoom properly. But I do plan to do some workshops, mono printing, probably. Uh, yeah, maybe some clay clay workshop. Um, yeah, I think that will happen in the future. Definitely. Watch this space. Watch this space. Watch this space. Well, thank you very much, mate. You're very welcome, Neil. Thank you very much for filming. <laughs>